Hi guys, this is Shivadi. In this session, we are going to look at what is the main principle or the contract between equals and hash methods when we are working with the Java. So these two, the basically uh, these two hash code and equals methods are available in the super class that is called an object class. In this class, these two are uh, available and by default, the uh, equals method is what it is going to do is equals method equals method will compare the address of an uh, given object. That means it is going to compare the address of the two objects and it is going to say that whether the two objects are equal or not. And at the same time, hash code is going to return an integer uh, hash code for a particular object. That means whenever you create a new object or user defined objects in the uh, Java, then what uh, for each and every object, the hash code is going to be written as an uh, written as an integer value. Now, according to the um, Java, what the term is going to be say is that if two, if two objects are e equals according to the equals method, then what it needs to be is then calling the hash code on the each of the two objects must produce the same integer details. That means if two objects are equal according to the equals method, then those two objects should produce must produce the um, must produce the same, same hash code. That is the reason whenever you are uh, you are overriding the equals uh, whenever you are overriding the equals method in any of the user defined class, then it is mandatory mandatory that you need to specify the uh, you need to override the hash code also. Otherwise, what happens is whenever you are using those objects in the hash map or the hash table, then it is going to uh, give you an improper results. We are going to see that example in later. So the first one is when two objects are equal according to the equals method, those two objects must produce the same hash code. And if two objects and second one is the vice versa is may or may not true. That means if two objects are uh, uh, two objects are producing the same hash code, that does not mean that those two objects may or may not equal. It is like a uh, the reverse condition is may or may not possible. Now we are going to look at these. Uh, um, what is the main advantage? Uh, main main, main uh, uh, when to use this uh, equals and hash code in the program? And if you don't use these things, what are the problems we are going to see? We are going to uh, see through an example. Now let us consider. In my case, I have created a small program to explain this concept. So the first one is the hash code and the equals methods uh, is placing very important role whenever we are working with the hash set or the hash map implementations. Apart from that also, whenever you are, uh, if you create an object for the any, uh, any user defined class, by default what happens is every time you create a new object, for example, here I am creating an anonymous, uh, I am creating an object for this uh, employee class. So each time when you create a new object, what Java is, uh, hash code is going to do is, it is going to return some different, um, every time it is going to return a unique uh, identification for that object that is the hash code. Like that here it is going to generate the four hash code. Okay, four hash codes for each object it is going to be written one. And also what equals method is going to do is it is always compare the addresses of the uh, addresses of the uh, objects and it will say that as long as the address is same then it is equals method is going to return true. So but as per when you are working with the user defined object your logic might be here in this case for example in this case new employee 101 and Shiva ready and also a new employee 101 Shiva from my perspective actually these two objects are same, but as per the default implementation of the uh, equals and the hash code of the uh, superclass object, these two, this the superclass uh, um, equals method does not know about this. Hence, what you need to do is whenever you want to provide the e the equality of the two uh, two users defined object, then it is always you need to. Uh, override the equals method. Whenever you do the overriding the equals method, you have to must you, you must have to override the hash code also. If you don't uh, implement, if you don't uh, override the equals uh, when you uh, when you uh, override the equals and if you don't uh, implement the 
hash code then what happens we are going to show through so see with this example now in this case what happens is i have an employee class in this employee class i have two uh, i have declared as a two member variables that is the employee id and the employee name and i have one constructor which is going to take the uh, employee id and employee name then i have created a setter getter methods now what i am doing here is i am going to uh, explaining this concept using the two things one is hash set and another one is a hash map so now what is going to happen is in the case of hash set it does not allow the duplicate values but if you come to if you it does not allow the duplicate in the sense if you are using any string or the primitive data types or um, wrapper classes then by default the over it is going to override the equals and uh, equals and the hash code hence automatically it it can recognize that it is already a duplicate element but as we are declaring as a employee as a user defined class so hash set does not know that these two they whatever the uh, objects we are adding here are same hence what it is going to do is it is going to add four different object to the hash set now i am trying to run this program now if you see the output it is going to first one it is printing the hash um, hash set each object and whenever it is running the each time the hash code is going to be different for the four different objects whatever employee objects i have added here but my intention of this one is actually the employee whatever the objects i am adding all are same but as we didn't override the equals method that is the reason what it is doing is it is trying to add all the uh, value all the uh, all all whatever the employee ad, object we are added here it is considering a distinct so now what i am going to do is i am going to specify i am going to override the equals method and try to see what is going to happen now i am uncommenting the override method in this override method what i have um, done is override methods is going to specify as long as the employee id and the employee name are both are same then i am saying that these are the equal now what i am doing is i am again iterating uh, i am running the program now if you see the program still we are seeing that the it is trying to return the hash code with the different values because each time when you add it the java is going to uh, the default uh, of super object class uh, method hash code is going to return a distinct integer hence what we need to do is as long as this keys are going to be same whatever the value we are going to add it is same then we need to override the hash code method in such way that whenever in such a way that as per the java doc when two objects are equal it ha must has to produce the same hash code that logic we need to implement here so in this case randomly i am doing is a prime number prime as i am taking 31 result as 1 and employee id equal to null i am uh, uh, taking as a 0 i am multiplying with 0 otherwise employee id hash code with that what i am what we are going to achieve is every time when this uh, hash code runs on the employee class object then it will make sure that as long as employee id is going to be the same then it is going to produce the same hash code hence now when i run this program you can see the output as you can see the output as the desired the desired result in this case now i have only one employee object because now we have defined what is the equal send override in a such a way that uh, such a way that uh, it it is aligning with the java specification like whenever we are overriding the equals method we are uh, we are overriding the hash code also to make sure that it always produce the same hash code as long as two objects are equal uh, that is the reason if you see same way if you see the hash table uh, hash uh, map also it is also does not allow the duplicate value uh, it whenever you add a um, uh, key with the same value again and again the latest value is always going to be the one which is stored in the hash map hence if you see here in the hash map also even though i added four um, four uh, new employee object still whatever the value of the whatever the value we are pass uh, whatever the key it is passed based on that it has identified that it is a equals uh, object and it has overrided 
the four values now in the results uh, the hash map contains only one value so that is the basic um, principle or uh, main you uh, main advantage of uh, the overriding the equals and hash map uh, hash code so these two are uh, two are uh, interlinked with one each other so always the norm is like whenever you override the equals method you must have to um override the hash code in such a way that it is going to produce the um it is going to produce the same integer as long as it is uh, uh, this java application trying to invoke the object every time hope you are clear with the contract between the hash code and uh, hash code and equals method and if you have any questions please comment on my youtube video and please do subscribe to get more technical videos from my end